G'day, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, James Foster, Roy, Andrew Simons, Roy, whatever, that'll work. This bloke used to play a bit of cricket, but he's actually fishing today. And we've got Jack Nolan with us as well. We're north of Townsville. We've been just coasting along. We've got a bit of reef we're going to fish up a bit further north. One of the great things about electronics is you find some cool stuff when you're driving along. Jimmy's awesome. gone. And look at that on the sounder there now, mate. He's got, we have to fish here. Roy said, stop talking and let's just do it. So What is it? Don't look down, look up. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. <laughs> We're pretty excited. We're dropping soft plastics uh, for largemouth nano guy, coral trout, red throat emperor. We're going to fish the edge of the reef a bit later, but we can't drive past this mark. That looks pretty good there, lads. Let's give that a go. I'll just um, what we've done just hit that magic spot lock button. We'll just anchor on that. Look at that. That just looks insane. So a down scan there, conventional sounder picture, and you can see all the fish stacked up there. Just a mark we found on the edge of the reef. That's a great thing about fishing here is there's so much country and you've got to be paying attention to this because that's quite often what's going to find you a spot that maybe hasn't been fished as much as some of the more popular areas. Um, and you, you tend to drive over a lot of really good country. <laughs> oh, oh, go Jack, Adam, go son. On the wind up there, I was just going to recast it. And... <laughs> oh. All right. Absolutely annihilated it. Looks like a better fish, Getting mate. Off the bottom. Yeah, mate, it feels like a better one. I'm not sure if it's a trout. It's going a bit wide there It's coming up high in the water column, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, you got? Oh, might, might, be right, a, might be the right species. Might have the right colour there, mate. Beautiful. It's got some go. Yeah, I was just winding up to recast it. There's a bit of current here at the moment, and he's just absolutely smashed it. Oh, Righto, oh, mate. Yes, yes, yes. There he is. Mate, I'll take a wrap on him. Do the honours. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out. How's that? Oh, yes. So, a bit of North Queensland goodness there. <laughs> huh? How about that? Well done, Jack. A bit yeah. of North Queensland goodness. So, so on that, what we call elevator head. So, heap of current here at the moment. There is um, a bit. 50 pound litre, and that's done the job. And that is a seriously nice coral trout. So, Queensland goodness. So, this fella. I hate to say it, it's probably his unlucky day. We're staying, uh, staying in a pretty cool place at the moment and we might uh, we might put this fella on the barbecue a little bit later on. That sounds pretty good to me, mate. I think we make him go crispy, guess. We make him go crispy. I'm sorry. We let a lot of fish go on real action, but um, a, a trout that size, probably as big as you'd want to eat, you reckon, that one? Yeah, that's perfect size. Perfect size. Yeah, that's beautiful. Because they do, you can get sick of terror. got to be a little bit careful yeah, the, the bigger ones. Yeah, the really big ones. Yep. And, but I don't think you're allowed to keep them over 80 centimetres, I think, now. So. They're the rules, but that there, that's that's your perfect, that's your ideal trout. That's it, spot on. Great looking spot here. We're just, uh, if you just let the electric motor off for a minute, we're just having a drift down this edge here. Fantastic, and um, sure on the sander we can see the, the drop and there's fish underneath us, but visually that's just a really cool place to put a cast in just over there somewhere and just let that curly tail plastic sink down and get into the zone and you just never know what you're going to catch here. That's the exciting thing about it. Yep. Yep. Oh. Go, Jacko. Got him on, mate. First cast there. Red Cu bass, I'm calling. A couple of fusies up on the surface and put one in. There's bait getting chased there now. A couple of sweeps to the lure and I'm not sure what it is just yet. I think it might be a trevally, a giant trevally. Yep. Righto, mate, I'll swing him up here. I'll pass you the rod. Yep, beautiful. Mate. Hold that one. We'll grab this fish. Oh, careful of them trebles. 
Lift him up there, mate. Nice fish, Jack. Oh, look nice at that. Fish, mate. Nice tea leaf trevally there. It didn't take long. We threw that lure in there and a couple of sweeps of the rod and it was on, mate. Yeah, sure was, Jack. As you can see, we've got these fuses going off behind us here, mate. We've got some nice flow and run onto these bommies and that's going to hold a lot of fish like your trevallies, your coral trouts and different stuff like that. All right, mate, how about we get the hooks out of him and let him go to fight another day? Sounds good, mate. Thank you. What's going on here, mate? Oh, I got a bit of a trout on here, I think. Jack, not a bit of a trout. Back. I'm down the back eating a bit of watermelon, having a bit of a half time break. Oh, I might even just be a small cod, bud. That's all right, get him past the shark. Like. It looks pretty trouty to me there. Oh, look at that, oh. boys. <laughs> oh, yes. Mate, that's an awesome fish. So we call these ones Straubs up in North Queensland. As you can see, he's pretty nice and red. So that's Straubs for like a strawberry a trout? Strawberry trout. Yeah, right, eh? Lift him oh, up look there. At him. Absolutely beautiful, guys. That's a good looking fish, isn't it? You're really proud to be in North Queensland when you see one of these, <laughs> I can tell you. But no, guys, beautiful fish. Buddy, might give him a uh, bit of a bit of a release and let him down to fight another day, eh? What do you reckon? Sounds good, mate. We'll get another one. Legend. These curly tail grubs are awesome to use in around the reef. They get so much action off that. That big tail flapping around. It's not a bad colour, sort of matches the colour of the jig head, this one. So slide him on. You've got a big grub keeper on that assist hook. Let's slide that up, push that up onto the grub keeper. And we've got that big, heavily scented lure. That's just going to wander around down into the, into the zone. Just got to sort of work out how deep you are and try not to fish too heavy because the reefy structure obviously is very snaggy if you get down there, but I reckon that's going to work. Yep, got him on, mate. Dropped it down, it didn't take too long. Not sure what it is, there's a few sharks, so try and get him up nice and quick. What's happening here, mate? Mate, I'm down the back, you boys are up the front. Uh, well, I thought I'd better wander down and see what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. A nice little, trout, I think. Trout, is it? Yeah, I'll try and get him around behind the motor there. Oh, there we jig. go. Yeah, it's, it's on, the, on the metal jig. They're pretty cool, those metal jigs. They've got this wicked shape, and uh, when you drop them down, Feels like you put a bit of sand on there as well. I did, so mate. Added, added a bit of sand. Always. And they sort of glide down. And um, so in the deeper water when the current's really running, that can be a great way. If you're driving along and prospecting, you see something, you go, well, that looks like a good spot, and you can drop it straight to the bottom. So both soft plastics and metal jigs, all great ways to target the outside and inside edge of the reef here. Beautiful little trout, that one. That's frustrating when you can see the fish on the sand like that. That's just crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's some seriously good fish marking there, so. Just getting, oh, mate. getting them to feed is our problem. You're not, you're not here for your cricket ability, you're here for your fishing ability, <laughs> big fella. So let's see you let's see you get him on. You and I have been a bit Very, so far. So, so far, yeah. Oh, there's a bit of a touch on the sink. Bit of a touch. Just gotta pay attention, haven't you, when you're working a lure. Oh, and then Jimmy's on at the front here. And he's he's on. And Roy's on, and Roy's on. Oh, come on, they've had a triple hook up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, let, I'll get out of your way. You go in there, you do what you got to do there. That looks like the right colour, Roy. That's a cool looking thing. These are pretty fish. Wow. So what do you call... Come around here, what do you call that? That's a Maori cod. So, double hook up. What'd you end up with, Jim? I ended up with a beautiful tea leaf trevally there, I guess. All right, mate. Well, you can do us a favour. Spear him in over there, beautiful, out of the way. Mate. And then you might be able to explain what this exhibit lavender B. looking exhibit B is that Roy's got here. Because that's, that's, oh, oh, oh. that's, that's, that's a. Oh, that's a. That's a cool looking fish. What is Roy, that? Roy, you've gone and outdone yourself, mate. You got one of the best eating fish on the reef there, fella. That's a blue Maori cod, or commonly known to fishermen up here as a cattle dog cod. Yeah, cattle dog cod. Mate, absolutely superb eating. Beautiful fish, man. 
Wow, well, it's, it's the colour in it is just ridiculous. Spectacular, aren't they? Yeah, they are a good-looking fish for sure. So then he's just one of the sort of ras family, is he? Or he's just a cod family. Cod family, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah he's in the cods. So he's related to the other Maori cod, which is more of a browny sort of goldy coloured one, yep. but very similar pattern still. And he's the blue version of them. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. Hold him out. Show everyone to name what he looks like, Roy. That's a cracking looking fish, that one. Oh. You're not on again, are you, Jim? Yeah, something there, mate. I got this one past the sharks, actually. Yeah, you know why I got it past the sharks? It's because I had the sharks entertained while you, were, mate. while you were winding away. I love your work, Gusty. Oh, it's another one of those beautiful cod, uh, beautiful cod actually. Oh, oh. Blue Maori. He's, him. So we've been throwing soft plastics and, uh, and metal jigs, and that's actually on a little vibe. Look at that. He is a cool looking fish. So would they be in pairs? I assume we've caught two in the one spot. Mate, they do generally hang out together, yep. but um, these days they are not really as widespread as what they once were. Like yep. getting a, a few off a rock isn't super common, but yeah, it's always a welcome sight, you yeah. know? No, they're good looking fish for sure. And they grow to a maximum size of? Mate, I, I'm not sure exactly how big they grow, but I've caught them over 15 kilos oh, gee. personally. So <laughs> I'd imagine they get up around that 20, 30 kilo mark, not a problem. Wow, really. they're massive, massive. Only little. Can you beat the sharks? It's like a shark beating competition. So we're not actually beating them, we're trying to beat them to the boat. I think I've. Oh, oh did I see a bit of a. Oh, 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 oh yes! Oh, check look that at that out. for a long time. Oh, it's a big flute fish. You, you grab him, guess. He'll hold the rod. Oh, oh, you wouldn't grab my shark. Why should <laughs> I grab your flute fish? Christ. <laughs> Two men jobs. Oh, oh, oh. He's, he's got me in the nethers. I tell you what, that, they've got a. um. Very sharp sort of rib along that, like that's nearly like a knife across the no, side of their face. Pretty there. sharp. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Take your jig head out of there. A flute fish. He is, he's one cool machine, this bloke. He's making a bit of a weird noise then. Check him out. Wow. Oh, 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 that was close. It's always Be coming. careful there. It's that always was coming. <laughs> Sorry, mate. He's, he's, all, he's seen when you're um, snorkeling and diving, and yep. you get them in sort of little patches there. He's a cool looking thing. I wonder how they must feed, what would they feed on? The distance from his eye to his mouth is just ridiculous. Yeah, look okay. out. <laughs> All right, we'll get him back in the water, eh? he can swim yeah. back down. Oh, 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 Hello. Somebody home. <laughs> what have you got? Come on, son. Yeah, this is a tackle test to Roy, this one by Lou. Yeah, this is going to test the old bones out too, I think. <laughs> oh. Speaking of tackle, P2 to 4. Some uh, oh, fuselage everywhere. 30 pound braid, 5,500 size spin reel, and 50 pound fluorocarbon leader, and whatever. Soft plastic. He's ratted, been running through my bag here, Roy. And I'm not sure what he's tied on there, but he's certainly got something that's um, pulling a bit of string. I don't know who's bigger. <laughs> I think he might be bigger than me. Well, if it's bigger than you, it's going to take some serious landing. That's for sure. Oh, I sort of just got a bit of colour down there, trying to peer down with the sunnies through that glare. It's so clear that water. He's down deep still. But... I need to see what it is, mate. My back's asking him to slow down a bit. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> that might have been the best result, you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> Turned out to be a black tip whaler. A shark there, but I think you had something decent on to start with and then he's eaten it, Yes, reckon? I think that might have been the case, mate, yeah. That's what happens in this part of the world. It's eat or be eaten, that's for sure. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I finally got a trout, Roy. Now, I've been threatening to catch one all day and the sharks have been, oh, the sharks have been giving me a hard time. 
And I thought I'd, uh, so what I did is I put a vibe on and I put a bit of the magic super scent on there and it's yeah. worked straight away. It's a beautiful looking fish. I, uh, I just, you never get sick of looking at them. So coming from Townsville, if, if you're going to go out for a feeder fish, uh, is this on top of the menu, you reckon, the That's, coral trout? It's pretty much on the top of the list because you can, it's a delicate flesh, but you can also, you can use it in curries and you can bake them whole, um, then you can just fry them, you know. They are seriously good eating, aren't they? They've they just got so much going for them. <laughs> they have, and, and if uh, look, if you um, if you're going to keep one, make sure you bleed it, uh, get it on the ice straight away, and look after it. Like any fish you're going to eat, the better you look after it, the better it's going to cook up and 100%. taste at the, at the end of the day. And that is a beautiful looking fish, and he's fallen with that sort of clear looking vibe. They got those gripping. I won't put my finger in there, but you can see those those rasping teeth. We we're talking about it before how they feed. They're an ambush predator, aren't they? they are, yeah, yeah. So he's ready to attack. Well done. And I'm happy about that. <laughs> There's nothing better than a day on the water, but you want to make it home safely. So remember, one of the most important pieces of safety gear is your life jacket. Eight out of ten boaters who have drowned in New South Wales were not wearing one. The new jackets come in a range of designs, so they won't get in the way, whether you're chasing a big one or just taking in the sights. Whenever you're out on the water, make sure you and all the crew put one on. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water. Got him, mate? Yeah. You're on, go, son. Yeah. What do you reckon? I'm saying, what, look at the sound of there. I reckon there's a school of mackerel under us. But you had that one on a moment ago. Yeah, you reckon it's mackie? You going to the metal jig? Going to a metal slicing, jigging type <laughs> menagerie. <laughs> go, go, go. Well, I'll get a bit of colour here in a minute. I can see a little bit of colour there. He's silver, so that's either a mackerel or a trevally, one or the other. Hopefully he comes up. He hasn't done that sp Oh, uh, the picture on the set, that's ridiculous. Yeah. How you even made it through there is beyond me. There's so many fish there at the moment. It's all looking really good. Let's we'll see. He looks, I think it's a trevally, eh? Oh, shark's behind him. Peering down. Just saw a shark, I think. I reckon it's a trevally, this one. Here he comes. I'll, uh, I'll take a wrap for you there, mate. On that leader. <sighs> Another one of those little tea leaf trevally. Jack's been catching a couple on the stick baits. That's on the that's on the jig, that one, and that, that bluey colour with that yellow, same colour as a fusilier. It's probably the absolute perfect colour to, to jig anything out of here at the moment. Grunting away. Off you go, bud. On that stick bait. And what do you got? Red bass. Red. It's red. Oh, big red bass. Big it? red bass, mate. Yeah. Oh. Threw it right up on that oh, look at here. That's a cracker. <laughs> wow. On Check that sinking, out. sinking stick bait. Wow. He's an absolute beauty. Is he well hooked or? Yeah, in the side oh, there, I mate. Think so. He looks all right. Yeah, he does look all right. I think. I'll just uh, lift got him got straight up and in. That <laughs> is a beauty. Look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that, eh? that, I've never caught one of them. Oh, you haven't caught a red bass? No, first oh. one. I'll just get that treble out. Pop those out. I do not want that going in anybody's hand. That's it, mate. Pop them out. So that's done the job. And uh, that's amazing. So we've been throwing, come in here, Jim. And, uh, and Roy, look at that. That is a beauty. How solid is that? Turn and show that to everyone at home, how thick they get red bass through the camera. They're like a mangrove jack, really, aren't they? Yeah, a lot of people do get them confused with jacks, but they've got a different type of eye, the jack. They haven't got that yellow around their eye. Yeah, yeah right. right. Yeah. He's got a pretty big eye too, doesn't he? Like... I think you call it for a big coral trout to start with. We're all we're excited. I've got to tell you, that's a PB for you. It's a first that's for you. First and a PB. First red bass. Yeah, they're, they're an awesome awesome predator and when you catch them on the surface like that whoop, nearly fell over then <laughs> they, they come up grab your lure and they'll just crash into the bottom and I know I've, um, I've had them on GT gear before and before you know it they've got you hung up in the reef so you've done well to extract him out of the country there awesome mate and these are a no take fish up that, here yeah Jimmy just from Cigatera guys Cigatera eh? poisoning yeah, yeah. yeah they seem to do um 
suffer a bit from Sigaterra, so they are still on the no-take list like our Chinaman as well. Well, he'll be going back in the water in a minute. Not like a lot of the redfish here go into the icebox, don't they, Roy? But this one's not, so... Commonly up here, that does happen, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it does. It does it. But this red bass is going to... We're going to let him go in just a second. Now, that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alphabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome ocean LED underwater light, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Check that out. That is a cracking red bass. That's your PB, Jack? Sure is, mate. Awesome stuff. We've been fishing out of Townsville today with my mate James Foster, of course, Jack Nolan, I've already mentioned. And the big fella, Roy's here with us as well, Andrew Simons, fishing those reef edges, throwing soft plastics, metal jigs, and then you can't help yourself. There's always a bit of stick, back, stick bait action, I should say, when Jack's on board. You've been watching Real Action. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Well done, mate. Turn around. Let's let him go, eh? Right, mate. That's a cracker. Well done, Jacko. PB, let him go. <laughs> there he goes. Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 102 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements.